Hi everyone, it's Christina from the DIYMommy.com and today I want to share with you some simple DIY Halloween decor ideas made with items from the dollar store and with my Cricut. When I do Halloween crafts and decor, I like to go a little bit more on the glamorous side and only slightly spooky or a little bit cute. I don't like a lot of blood and gore and gross stuff. How do you feel about Halloween decor? I'd love to hear it down in those comments below. I came up with a few DIYs that I absolutely love. I was really happy with how they turned out. I used dollar store items to make these and I used my Cricut, which is a cutting machine. But don't worry, if you don't have a Cricut, I'm gonna leave some options to make these without the Cricut, but I do love my Cricut. You can do so many things with it, especially leading up to Christmas in a couple months. You can personalize gifts and everything. So if you're interested in learning about them, I'll leave some links to other videos I did on my Cricut down below, as well as a link to purchase one for yourself if you're interested. So let's get into those Halloween DIYs. For this first project, I found some spooky spider art on the Cricut Design Space app. I will leave a link to the art down in the description box below. And then I'm using my Explore Air 2 to cut out a whole bunch of the spiders on a 12 by 12 sheet of iron-on in black. So this cuts just the top layer of the iron-on and it leaves kind of a clear backing so that you can easily iron on the shapes. So once you weed away all of the excess of vinyl, here is what you end up with. Now I'm using these plaid Dollar Tree towels. You might remember that I used these a little while ago in a fall pillow DIY. I thought they would be perfect for a Halloween craft as well. I'm also using my Cricut Easy Press. It's essentially like a giant iron. Next I'm cutting out the individual spider shapes. So I have some large ones, some medium sized ones, and some small ones. And then you can go ahead and arrange them on the towels how you'd like them. First, before I do that, I do iron the towels with the Easy Press to get them a little bit warm because that way my iron on little pieces will stick nicely to the towels and they won't move around as I'm playing with the placement of all my spiders. So I'm putting them on the towels, just kind of randomly on the plaid. I'm trying to alternate larger ones with smaller ones and kind of situating them on the lines of the plaid. I'm almost thinking of the plaid as like a spider web sort of situation and putting the spiders randomly on the shapes. So if you're doing this as well, just play around with it make it random and make it kind of fun and organic looking. And then once you're happy with how everything is looking, you can go ahead and iron the iron on on. So I'm using my Cricut easy press, which I have really loved because you can set the temperature of the, this iron as well as it has a built-in timer. So just go ahead and go to the Cricut um, website and you can figure out how long you need to heat the pieces. In this case, these towels are a polyester blend, so honestly not the greatest for iron-on. So I did have to um, make these nice and hot, and I had to do what's called a warm peel, where you peel the backing off when the, the iron-on is still warm. You don't let it cool. And here's how the towels turned out. I thought they turned out really spooky, but still a little bit fun, and I can't wait to hang these up in our kitchen this Halloween. They also look cute as napkins in my little display, which I'll share with you at the end as well. Speaking of spiders, we're going to keep this theme here in this next DIY. So I found a spider web uh, pattern on Cricut Design Space as well. Again, I'm going to leave options down below if you don't have a Cricut or if you don't want to buy the Design Space um, files, I'll leave some options down in the description box below. I weeded out the excess vinyl and I put on what's called transfer tape. I'm just using a removable vinyl. I found this candle at Dollar Tree and then I'm just removing this decal from its backing so it stays onto the transfer tape and then I'm going to stick it onto my candle where I want it, press it down really well and then remove the transfer tape. So the transfer tape allows for a really nice transfer of my decal onto the round surface of the candle. 
This one was a little tricky because of all the details in the spider web. As well, I used the extra strong transfer tape, which sticks really well to the vinyl. So um, if you don't want to have quite as much of trouble as I did with this one, just use the regular transfer tape and you'll find that the transfer tape will come off a lot easier. So I just put two and a half spider webs on my candle and I was really happy with how this one turned out as well. Quite a simple look, but I love how it tied into the theme of my spider napkins. For this next one, I'm using a mirror from Dollar Tree as well as this pack of doilies and this flat black rust-oleum spray paint. I also found this old little birdhouse that my girls painted a few years ago that was kind of mildewy and thought I'd give it a little bit of a Halloween makeover as well. So if you're doing this too, you can just put the doily on top of the mirror wherever you'd like. I kind of put mine half on, half off, and then go ahead and spray the mirror with the black matte spray paint with the doily on top. I also spray painted my bird's house with the spray paint as well, just a flat black to give it a nice spooky look. Once everything is dry, you can remove the doily just like this, and you have a really interesting, almost like a spooky glam sort of look to this mirror. I do like how this kind of has that spider theme going as well. It almost looks like a glamorous little spider web and it makes for a great backdrop to any Halloween vignette. I showed you these cups in my fall coffee station video. They're one of my favorite dollar store finds. I found these at Dollarama, only $1.50 Canadian, and I got some white ones and then I got these orange ones as well for this Halloween DIY. And again, I'm back at my Cricut. I'm cutting out some really cute decals I found on Cricut Design Space. They say trick or treat, so I just cut the decals in half. So I have one decal that says trick and the other that says treat. I cut them out on a black vinyl. I put the transfer tape on those as well. And then I have my orange coffee cups from Dollarama and my trick and my treat decals. So just make sure, make sure your cups are nice and clean. And then you can just remove the decal from the backing just like this and situate it on the cup where you want it. Once you've pressed and smoothed the decal onto the mug, you just carefully take off the transfer tape and your decal is perfectly in place. Again, I'll leave options below if you don't have a Cricut and you could also use a oil-based Sharpie to make your own designs on your cup as well. There are a lot of different options to make customized Halloween cups from Dollar Tree mugs. What I liked the most about this design that I found from Cricut Design Space is it also had that little spider theme. So it has kind of like a little spider web in the T of Trick and then also one in the tea of treat. Thanks so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed these DIY Halloween ideas. Let me know down in the comments below which one was your favorite and how you feel about Halloween decor and how you like to approach it. Make sure to follow me along on Instagram as I talk about fall decor and DIY ideas. I share lots of behind the scenes stuff there. I'm at the DIY mommy on there. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel for more DIY and decor ideas on a budget. I'm gonna leave some more videos that I hope you will enjoy right up here.